Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I will deal with the top Syria tweaks with your iOS 8.1.2 devices such as your iPhones, your iPods, iPads, any device, more precisely any iDevice which is running iOS 8.1.2 and it's jailbroken. I'll let you know the tweaks with Syria. If you have not already uh, jailbroken your iOS 8.1.2 devices, Please subscribe to my channel and look for the separate video in my channel name showing how to jailbreak your iOS 8.1.2 devices with TIG. Okay, uh, now if you're not aware on how to install the custom features with Cydia and uh, what you need to do uh, with Cydia or stuff like that, I'll let you know. First off, as you can see, here is a Cydia. This ensures that your phone is being perfectly jailbroken. So now I'll just open Cydia and make sure internet connection is turned on. And after that, uh, at the bottom you will see there is a button that says uh, tap that says search. Just tap on it. And after that, you can write the name of the tweak that you want to install uh, in the search box and it will appear. Like uh, for my first tweak, I would like to have the dock color. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and search and I'll just write dock color, D-O-C-K and C-O-L-O-R. See it comes as dock color. The first one I'm choosing. And over here it says install, I'll just hit on install and confirm and let the device run and install that particular tweak. As you can see it says running over here and there is a progress bar. Uh, very soon you will see the progress will start over here. Okay now uh, with the dock color uh, tweak installed via Cydia, uh, I need to show you how it performs. If I go to settings over here and I navigate and I see over here it says dock color and if I go and enable uh, this particular option and go to colors uh, section over there and suppose for example I select the blue color and uh, just uh, to be sure I just put the alpha up see the blue color is highlighted over here and over here uh, the alpha it says change the dog background transparency so based on your choice uh, let me just go ahead and choose the transparency and for now let's go ahead and what it does the dog color see the blue color has appeared in the dog color over here so that way you can uh, change this particular color of the dog making the apps uh, present over here um, much uh, visible to the eyes now around with the, uh, along with this uh, dog color tweak I uh, I will always suggest you another tweak that says round dog you can install round dog via Cydia the same method that I showed you previously and what this round dog is uh, does is that you can see with the installation of round dog this uh, app the apps present in the dock these uh, particular icons are rounded uh, in shape and they are, uh, they have also decreased in size thus giving a very sweet and a very cool look to uh, to this dock section over here okay moving on uh, now if I go uh, to my next set of tweak it says a folder icons it's a very cool addition because uh, let me show you what it does with the folder now with the folder icons that you have on your i device like suppose for here yeah, I have the utilities folder over here now if I go to the edit section uh, edit mode or uh, rather by edit mode I mean to the uh, also it's known as uninstall mode so if I hold an icon just like that over there it goes into the uninstall mode as you are quite aware of that now for the folders what it does is that you see it gives a small gear on the top left corner so if I go to this gear you will see now you will see it gives option to change the background and the foreground also now let me show you if I go ahead and select the blue color over in the background and foreground also there are so many options depends upon you what you know to do uh, so uh, you can go ahead and just see I changed the background color to blue and this particular folder turns blue also again if I go to the utilities you will see there is an option that uh, which says show thumbnails show label show badge so end of the day you can also uh, switch out the thumbnails the labels the badge whatever way you want this folder to appear now apart from that you will see there is an info section over here. if I go to the info part over here it says that you can uh, put your custom background and your custom foreground uh, to these folder icons now to do that uh, they have written the text at what uh, what are the things that you need to do you can follow these particular steps and you can put your custom background or your custom foreground now uh, moving ahead let me show you my uh, next tweak which is known as the system wide predictive text now what it does is that if I go to spotlight uh, over here and 
let me show you this tweak uh, along with the spotlight because this tweak actually works uh, with spotlight the system or predictive text now if i search for anything over here like if i say uh, if i write system over here you see uh, it's giving uh, it, at the same time it is giving you some predictive text so uh, what it does is that um, uh, if I go to the spotlight and search for any query, it will give you predictive texts and events and everything from the net as well as on your device. So this is something which is a cool addition uh, for your multitasking uh, multitasking abilities. Now next up, uh, I prefer to have a trick that is known as full NC. Now what is this full NC? Let me show you with Cydia itself. If I go to Cydia and just give it some time to load and after that and search and go to F U L L N C and N C and if I just select this full N C and you will see that what it shows it's self explanatory over here also. It says it increases the line of words that appear when you receive a notification into twenty lines instead of four lines. More precisely what you receive when you receive a notification within a notification, this particular tweak uh, it uh, increases your text length and uh, the size of the text so as to you get to know and get to read the entire notification precisely and very importantly from the notifications panel. So you can say for a multitasking person uh, who uh, who is into notifications and works and stuff for that, this comes in very handy. Uh, now for my next week, I should say uh, it's a very cool one and the personal favorite of mine. It says CC settings app. Now let me show you uh, in the settings of the iPhone, if I navigate over here, uh, you will find over here it says CC settings. Let me go to it and it says toggles per line 6. You can increase or decrease all the 6 is a maximum number. I'll show you what it is. It says in include, under include section it says cellular data, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, location service, do not disturb, home, log, Bluetooth, blah, blah, blah. Many uh, things are there. Let me show you what it is. If I go to the control center over here, I just swipe it up and go to the control center. You will see that it has the icons uh, located or stored all the important things all at once. So you just navigate over here and you get to use your all your important stuffs just from the control center itself. So it's a very handy operation because end of the day you do not need to navigate your entire iDevice to go to uh, the desired uh, functions or the desired buttons you can find each and everything in this control center via this tweak that says CC settings okay after CC settings I should uh, have my focus on the next tweak that says I release it's a very cool addition let me show you what it is I've already enabled it because it's a um, it's something uh, which I like and this I release comes in handy and uh, and is in complete sync with iOS 8 uh, and uh, its successors also like uh, right, right now I'm running iOS 8.1.2 so with I, uh, with I release what it does is that let me go ahead and uh, go uh, select the right side actions although there is a left side actions and execution action tips and all but let me go ahead and go to the right uh, side actions and I've already selected home here you will find there are some options that says none go home quit top app and quit all apps just uh, for demo purpose let me show you what it does with go home now if I select go home and I just on the right hand side I just tap it for one to two seconds you see if I tap over here it goes to the home section so it goes uh, comes in handy for any apps if you're running any apps I just tap the right hand corner over here and it comes to the home screen so straightforward use but a very handy use I should say now moving on to my next tweak it says one tap clear it's something it's very important and it's very uh, what to say it's, it's a personal favorite of mine although right now I don't have any notifications to show you but let me just demonstrate to you what it is is that uh, I guess uh, by now you all are aware that uh, to delete notifications you have to tap it twice at first the cross signal comes you tap the cross signal, the clear button comes and then you tap the clear button then the notification gets cleared. Now with this tweak that says uh, one tap clear, you can clear uh, all your notifications just with one single tap. You do not need to tap it twice. So it saves time, saves a lot of energy I should say whatever it is. But uh, end of the day very cool addition. Now my next tweak it says disturb me later. Uh, this also comes in handy for a busy person like uh, suppose if I have this um, um, tweak that says disturb me later if I go to settings here it says disturb me later and if I just enable just this tweak particular tweak and after that 
if I just go to the control center and here is uh, as you can see here is the do not disturb tap over here I just press it press and just release it you see this particular tweak allows you to set the time uh, uh, for the time being that you do not want to be disturbed actually so end of the day it's a very cool addition because you uh, set to uh, say you can set your custom time limit for which uh, time period you do not want to be disturbed. Now for example if I say set it to as one minute and after that to just pull it off once it's off just to turn off it will give you some more options that says readjust timer, remove timer and cancel. So just remove timer and the timer will be removed and after again tap on that it will the do not disturb the part will be turned off. So uh, you can understand that disturb data it's a cool addition. Next up uh, the tweak that I have is called the fully masked passwords as by now you all must be aware that when typing in the password the last entered character is always highlighted in an iOS device but till now uh, after we have installed this particular tweak that says fully masked passwords with this tweak what you can do is that uh, it does not highlight the character entered in the password fields let me just show you that just give it some time let me log out from here and if I see you, if I type any of the passwords, see the characters are not highlighted over here. So in the in the masked fields of the password, the characters are not coming. So end of the day, those people who are up for privacy, like uh, like me, the you will find this particular trick to be very useful, very precise. The fully masked pa passwords. Uh, okay, for the next week, I must say this is also one uh, another of my uh, personal favorite as it has to do with battery consumption. Now this uh, particular tweak is called Rubik. It's R-U-B-E-K Rubik. If I go to settings over here, uh, sorry it's R-U-B-I-K and if I enable this option that says Rubik, this tweak, what it does, it, uh, it automatically adjusts the use of Wi-Fi and the cellular data, vice versa when the other is being used and hence smartly it saves your battery life. So Rubik, I must say it's a very important addition uh, for uh, uh, for iDevice lovers because at the end of the day every iDevice lovers will vouch uh, for some extra battery life. So I, I suggested, I, I always give a thumbs up to Rubik. Um, now uh, my last tweak for this video will be a no lock screen debt. Now it's a very interesting tweak. This is something which is introduced for the wallpaper lovers. Now, as previously you know, uh, with iOS 7 and also with iOS 8, the lock paper used to have a stamp of the date and the time. So, it disturbs the lock screen for, for those people who used to love the scrub wallpaper. Now, with this particular tweak that says no lock screen date, what it does is that, um, let me show you just, uh, uh, before doing that, see, what it does is that it prompts the date and the time for some time and it just fades away. So end of the day you also get to enjoy your wallpaper, your cool wallpaper within the lock screen and you do not need to worry about the date and time. And also if you want to use a device to just look for the date, sometimes uh, maybe you put, uh, pick it up from your pocket and you want to just want to see the date, you just do that and you see the date and time also. So end of the day it, it, it serves both ways uh, or the other. So uh, this is also a thumbs up for me. So that's it guys, these are the, some of the most uh, top tweaks that I found uh, with CDI in iOS 8.1.2. So if you guys do like the video, please do give a thumbs up, it does help the channel. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'll come with more interesting updates very soon. Now if you have suggestions or if you have uh, some other tweaks which you find interesting or you find it's cool with iOS 8.1.2, so please uh, feel free to write uh, in the comment section below. And of course see you soon guys with my next updates. Bye for now.